Hello and welcome to this, um, my channel video review, basically on a magazine, um, called Great British Locomotive Collection. You get Boom, um, I'm not going to show you much, you get that, what's basically, uh, basically just to say that you don't want it or you want it basically there's the subscription booklet I'm not going to subscribe because I don't really want to um, yeah I, I can't say I don't like it I, I like the book I like it because it's from the National Railway Museum but I have to I don't like buying stuff I don't like getting stuff to delivered to me. I have to get, it. go and get it. Uh, and then there's um, basically what's it, what's up, coming up and stuff like that. Um, basically, there's uh, eleven locomotives. It starts from nine pounds, no, two pound ninety nine. Yeah, two pound ninety nine goes up to five pound ninety nine. Wow. Five pound ninety nine, and then it goes up to eight pound ninety nine. And then eight pound ninety nine, it's full price, but that with the flying Scotsman. Uh, the next one is the Coronation and the Duchess class. Um, Great British locomotive collection. That's the book. Um, yeah, if you subscribe, you can get a um, uh, blinder. A binder, is it? Oh, yeah, a binder. Sorry, blinder. A binder to put these in because they've got like things there. Like a hole punched, punched metal punched things. Um, yeah. And today's mo the model, what comes with it at the moment, is LNER fan, uh, -E fan 4472. Um, <laughs> wouldn't be able to pick it up. Uh, we've got the Mallard. What's L N E R four four six eight? Um, this is a die cast, but it is it is an O O gauge model. I definitely say that. And just to say, I don't really think it means it, but. Authentic OO scale model. To my eyes, it is a OO gauge model. Because I've looked at the OO gauge model, looks exactly the same. There's no difference except on this, it was a lot lighter. But basically, you can, there's got two screws here, one in the middle, and then two screws there. Actually, no, one screw there. And then you just take it out, basically. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's an O O gauge model uh, by LNER. It is original colours in Mallard's original colours. Uh, I don't think it's that. Yeah, you got a little sticker there underneath the four four six eight. What is there? And then you, yeah, let's go with the tender. You got like vacuum pipings here, some handles, there, uh, some loads, loads of like dots on the mould and not really added on, but the handles are, the vacuum are, the buffers are. You got some steps here. It looks like there's some breaking things down there. I've never really had a model like this so um you've got the little pipe where they, where they would get the take it off, get the pipe, like a hose pipe kind of thing, put it in, turn it on, fill it up and yeah. I don't know how much gallons this tank would be 
to hold. Um, that's good because this tells you the history. Um, I'll correctly zoom straight through it. See where I can find it. That's uh, Nigel Grizzly. Tender. Two hundred no twenty two thousand seven hundred thirty liters of water um, and eight tons of coal. These would carry well the ballard would. Um, yeah, and then you got the cab. What is Gresley A four's cab with an early in. <laughs> Is excise in ergonomic design. The crew had comfortably bucket seats. Bucket seats. What's the into? Oh yeah, yeah. They're the, um, basically normal seats. Um, not normal. Honestly. Normal seats. What on about? They're basically. <laughs> If you've been on a very old mm, tractor, for example, you have like a bit what goes around the back, basically. Uh, yeah, I think that's what they mean by bucket. Um, see, it's if, because it has it in there, but if it's not, then please comment. Um, bucket seats, and the driver could reach the key controls without having to stand so basically it's the I'll, I'll probably run but how it sounds it's the fur it's one of the locomotives that, like it's a train that you can sit down you can sit down and reach it's basically like the first ever sit down one like a class 221 Super Voyager or something like that um, the boiler steaming, the f uh, free steaming boiler was pushed to a higher pressure than those of the A ones. Hundred, well, I have a hundred and eighty pounds square inch, or the A three, what I've got two hundred and twenty pounds square inch. Coupled with the double clem champ exhaust, it provides it winning design. A <laughs> provides a winning design. So yeah, because you think about it, that coming, this went at 126 miles per hour. So that's going boom, straight like that. Wind. Hitting there on the older ones that are flat, so they was going to hit it and go, Where are we going to go? So, on the model, well, on this one, you they would go like that, when to hit it and follow over, and that's what it means. But then you got these bits that slew it and slowed it down. That's why you look at the modern day trains. Well, uh, aerodynamic, basically, because of this. Got a sort of rivets as well, basically all over it. Rivets, sort of, and this. You've got sort of lines. Here, yeah, I, I think that's where you they put the boiler together so it made a thinner and thinner thinner. But they, in this case, it look you got like the smoke box. In this case, it looks like it just stays at one width. Um, on this side, you've got some D is something there, like two black bits. I don't know what they are. There, there. Um, yeah, they don't really show on there. Um, then you've got this link. Well, got the steps to get into the cab. You've got basically the under carriage detail you got linkage that tra can you tell let's see how that track there 
off the track but what? them wheels are off the track And the other side's not. Let's see if you can zoom in. Zoom in. It helps a bit. Zoom in. See that side. It's on the track. That side not. And yeah, I don't know why they did that. That's a normal zoom. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you've got, then you come down to this bit. I'll take that's also down to the aerodynamics, I think. So the train, can, yeah, can also go over, over here, sort of like that. That bit's a bit loose. Um, you got handrails running on down both sides, and underneath, that's pretty weird, as you've got two handrails, um, only on that side, not on that side, uh, then you come to the sign of, wow, oh, what's actually really nice, I actually do like that, because it looks gold. You've got some red lines going down here. Don't know if that's the, like the real thing. But whoever. If they painted this on, seriously. They deserve medals. Uh, you got these. What I don't really like. Because surely them parts are red. On the real thing. That but. Yeah. Um people who like the realistic I don't think you're going to get sprung buffers on these come on these this is a die cast it's not going to be real you've got like a light like a light hook or something a vacuum pipe and that the number little the chimney the whistle it's black not being bad but Surely it, it should be gold as it is on the photo there. It's gold, but I don't understand because we've got the safety valves there, but the safety valves should be there and the whistle should be there. But yeah, you got like the smoke box, what should open up for the people to go in? Bang, then they're done. Um, yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, so there's some gold bits inside there, some gold arrow, well, handles. <laughs> Can't really get it. So basically, that's it. Uh, for two ninety nine, you get a very uh, a lot of stuff actually. Because you think about it. That is a die cast. Like that. Um, what's. It says authentic de de delivery. Livery. Um, percussion crafted. Highly detailed body. That's it. It is really, really down to scale. Number two issue on in the two weeks. Um, they're on sale every fortnight. Uh, the next one was five pound, as I said. Um, that one was two pound ninety-nine, and you've got fantastic uh, model. And yeah, now I'm doing a double rammy here because we've got a video game. What is, in fact? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 but because I'm very harsh I'm going to do that next video um, what's going to be later on um, <laughs> so you're going to see me like this and then you're going to see me like this in exactly in a different video 
then after that you've got the WWE 12, no, 12, 1, 11, um, yeah, I won't do gameplays just yet on this, because it is my Xbox is downstairs, but I will bring them up, it up, and I will put it up there, and I will do gameplays, so don't worry on that, um, so yeah, please like, subscribe and comment um, please say if you want me to do more of these um, uh, and just to say it is an OO gauge model so you can easily unscrew it as I've said uh, there are, oh I've noticed there is a speakers there speaker hole you don't probably can't see it but there's some speaker holes so I think you could put a speaker in there um take it out put a motor in them boiler if you're a man of DCC you can put a DCC chip in the tender or in the boiler leading uh, lead into the speaker what no and then you just Put it on the track. I will sort with if I was you I'll find out why that is happening. Uh, um But as I said it's a die cast so wheels won't be moving and I'm not gonna try. Um so it is a die cast so it won't move but you could probably probably make it you could probably take the wheels off it put a proper proper wheels what will move put a motor in there get if you like DCC put DCC in the speaker you probably can get a smoke generator put on your truck have it go if it doesn't work moan at me uh, actually no, don't mind me. It's not my fault. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll say you probably can do that. And everything is possible, only if you try. So yeah, please like, subscribe, and comment. Goodbye.